Well, once again, welcome to Salt Spring and to the Three Principles School. And before we really get rolling, to add to that thank you, I just want to say that the school is really not a place or a thing or even an event. The school is the people who come with the intent of finding that understanding. It's, it's you. you. You people are the school, you know. And that's, I really want to emphasize that because as much as we love to talk and share and, you know, talk about our insights and so on, the level of love and permission and understanding that comes in this room from all of you is really what makes what happens here possible. You all come with a certain intent. You come here for a reason. And that's what really makes the school what it is. You know? And it's been true with every group. And you know, it's, uh, you all know the joke about when Sid was alive, every cup of tea was the best cup of tea he ever had. Yeah. Which was true, he really, that's, he honestly, Occasionally, we'd, we'd serve it a little cold and he'd make another comment, but uh, <laughs> for the most part, every cup of tea was really the best cup of tea he ever had. And that's the way I felt last night when everybody was here and you could feel that beautiful energy of people coming together and meeting each other and just being here for the same reason, you know, for that same beautiful reason. So last night was the best meet and greet ever. It's really our privilege to share and to be part of this. It's our deep privilege and honor, you know. When Sid um, was close to the end of his life, he asked us to, to do this. And it's really funny because he didn't say what this was. <laughs> he just asked us to do it. And all he really wanted was for us to keep it as simple as possible as straightforward as possible, as close to that very simple, very elementary, but unbelievable insight that created this all around the world. And to the best of our ability, we've tried to do that, but the thing that's helped us do that the most is people coming, looking for that very thing, you know? It's absolutely, absolutely fantastic. In this last few months, with clients and with friends, for some reason, it's really been coming home to me, the amazing, amazing legacy that Sid Banks left behind in his materials. You know, because truthfully, while I know there are, there are a lot of people here who never met Sid, quite a few who did, but truthfully, when we listen quietly to those materials or we read them, it's really not any different than being here 25 or 30 or 40 years ago. It's not. Because he's talking from that amazing place. He wrote from that amazing place. There's nothing in between you and him. You're home together in those materials. And, you know, it's perfectly natural that as the principles go out in the world, sometimes it gets shared in a more busy way, you know? Some, and there's purposes for some things in terms of talking about psychology or business or whatever. But in terms of our personal experience, in terms of what we find, our insights, it's that quiet listening to the very amazing, quiet truth about who and what we are. That's what creates the change. Because no matter what you learn, no matter what you learn or where you learn it, what you have to offer, the only thing any of us has to offer, is our own personal experience. That moment that we've all had, small or large, when the world we've been creating moment to moment all our lives, just through just gentle listening, just stops. 
It just stops. And that's what people call insight. It stops and we, we literally see a whole new world because of where we're looking at it from. And that's what those amazing materials have to offer everybody in this world going forward. We won't all be around, you know, forever. But throughout history, throughout time, wisdom, knowledge, spiritual truth somehow enters through a portal, an individual, because the world needs it. The world needs that help. The world needs that understanding of who and what we are. Right? And what's really interesting about Sidney Banks and the three principles is this is the first time that an enlightenment of that magnitude has been around when there was recording. You know, even writing because the many beautiful people that walked this earth before, they didn't even write. Other people wrote what they thought they said. You know, and so it's, it's a different thing. It's a new era in that way that we have that precious load of material, you know, that anybody can go to without anybody in between. No broker, no explanations, no this is how I see it. Directly from somebody who had that kind of a totally profound experience. The kind of experience that moves humanity ahead, that changes the world, you know. And it's, it's a dichotomy because on the one hand it's true, it will change the world, but we can't set out to change it. All we can do is hear it and live from that place and then the world will change. So isn't that amazing that this is what we have in our hands? You know, it's just, to me, it's absolutely amazing. Sid never wavered from the first day of his experience till the day he left the earth. He never wavered in the knowledge that this understanding was going to change the world, was going to change psychology, psychiatry, everything. And some of us along the way would think, well, geez, it's been 20 years, or it's been 15 years, or it's been 30 years. And that didn't bother him at all, you know. Maybe on some days it did, but mostly he would just know that once something so new and so true and so original comes into the world, it's only a matter of time. He used to call it the done deal. It's a done deal. You know? And it's true. In our travels this year, it's becoming so evident because you, know, you sit down with a group of people somewhere in London or whatever, and they're, they're from 12 countries, 15 countries. And they talk about what's going on in, in, in Italy and, and uh, Norway and Sweden and, and France and on and on and on. You go, wow. Now, honestly, Sid would tell us that that was going to happen years back. And we'd go, oh, yeah, sure, you know. And even now I'm going, wow. You know, Buddhism spread throughout the world in a couple of generations throughout half of the world. You know, and that was without the internet. <laughs> and the reason that happened was that people's lives changed. You know. And what's occurring to me lately is that even as enlightenment keeps coming to the world every now and then to help us out, I always thought it was just, you know, it's enlightenment. It's, it's, and it is. But it itself is progressing. It brings more each time as we're ready to hear it. And that's the way I see the three principles, is something even new in terms of what's been brought through that profound enlightenment. Something that can bring the world of psychology, spirituality, psychiatry together in the one thing, one profound understanding of the true meaning of life. In some corners, some people will ask, well, why do you talk so much about Sidney Banks? And I'd like to take the opportunity to explain that. Okay. 
So people say, well, why don't you just talk about the principles? Right? Well, we do. But Elsie and I just did a video a while ago called The Genesis of the Principles. Maybe some of you have seen it. And it was Elsie's vision, it was beautiful, to point out again that the principles are the message, but it's important to notice or to see the medium that that message came from, not Sidney Banks, okay, but that a profound spiritual occurrence came, that wisdom just popped into the world like there's no other way to explain how a guy with no education, no background, no searching in any kind of, you know, consciousness raising or religion or anything, that just out of nowhere, these insights came to this guy. See, I think it's really important to notice that that occurrence happened because if you don't see the spiritual power that came to the world in that kind of whatever you want to call it, mystical, magical, beautiful way, you're missing out on part of the power. You know, The principles are an incredible gift to mankind, but seeing how they came into the world is part of that power. And it's not about Sid Banks the man, it's about that event, it's about that occurrence. Having said that, of course, I am really grateful to the man because he had the courage throughout his entire life just to keep putting it out and keep talking about it. And it wasn't, it wasn't without frustration occasionally, you know. It wasn't without wondering if people were hearing him occasionally. But he, he just kept putting it out there. And he never, like I said, never once wavered in the faith that he, something had been given to him, something had come through him that was enormous for this world. <laughs>